Montrose are without a point in the SWPL this season. They might fancy picking up one against Spartans. They change just the one. Amy Cully coming in for Tammy Lee Harkin, who drops out completely from the side that lost 3-1 to Motherwell last weekend. As I say, Spartans yet to win in the league this season. They've picked up just the one point, and they changed four from last weekend's side. Alicia Yates, Simone McMahon, Rebecca Foote and Callie Gibb coming in. Now Braith. Trying to fit that pass behind Erin Ross. She ends up picking up the ball herself. Galbraith still going, battling with Ross. As she clips, she goes down. No penalty, says referee Abby Hendry. Certainly a collision in there. Did she just go down a little belatedly? Hard to tell. Montrose coming forward now. It's a good ball from Demi Taylor, trying to find Charlotte Gammy, who's clattered by the keeper. No penalty. Well, two big shouts at both ends, and Abby Hendry unmoved. Ross wins the drop ball. Montrose coming forward again. They've started brightly this afternoon. And this is a chance. The ball comes in, comes to Demi Taylor. Just a little hesitant, really, with that shot. And Montrose will be happy with what they've seen so far. Spartans have a chance, it comes all the way through to Callie Gibb, acrobatic! And on to the roof of the net. Ross. That's the throw down to Guthrie. Clips it in, this could be a chance again for the captain, Charlotte Gammy. Alicia Yates stood up to it. Breath off the back heel. The clearance isn't the best. Gibb picks up, volleys off the post and in. Callie Gibb opens the scoring here at Lynx Park. And it's the visitors who make the breakthrough. Just not dealt with by Demi Taylor. A lucky bounce, nothing lucky about the finish. Precision from Callie Gibb, her first of the season. Ross comes all the way through, shout for a handball. It was Jade McLaren with the shot, straight at Alicia Yates. One ball forward from the free kick. It's gathered, that's a brilliant ball over the top to Guthrie. Oh, she pokes just wide. And she hammers the turf in frustration. She knows she should have scored that. Cafferty, Cleland, she picks out the pass, this is Behrman bearing down on goal, what can she do? She pulls it across to Gibb, and Spartans have a second! Well, it doesn't take them too long in the second half to double their lead, unselfish from Behrman, predatory from Callie Gibb. And shows this is a big chance, can Gammy get it back? Out of her feet, back to Ridgeway. She gets the shot away, and it's Rebecca Foot with an important foot on the line to deny Ridgeway the goal. Go on, comes in, it's bouncing around Guthrie and headed off the line. Spartans living dangerously as Montrose try and pull a goal back. And Craig Farrell's side get back into this. Ball comes through, Callie Gibb, this could be her hat-trick! Oh, she should have done better there. Could have had the match ball. Cleland, bursting forward. Real chance to get into the box. Can she pick out a Spartan in the middle? It's pulled back to Behrman, she's given time to get it out of her feet and find a finish. Spartans... 3-0 up, it's certainly not been that easy. But what a fine finish that is from Berman. Very composed to work it onto her left and drill it into the bottom corner. And she takes the plaudits. Guthrie gets it away from Bates. Montrose not going down without a fight here. This could be a chance. 
Yates makes a good save. She's been tested on a few occasions. Spartans looking to add a bit of gloss to the scoreline. Well, it comes in, Bates could have been more alert there. She picks up the ball as is. This is Jordan. Oh, fine save to deny Hannah Jordan and keep the score to 3-0. I thought the first 30 minutes was a bit all over the place. Both teams really going at each other, an exciting game to watch. Um, however, you know, I thought, I thought the scoring just before half-time was, was a good situation to be in, but we wanted to build on that and we came out and did that in the second half. So overall, extremely pleased. It's hard when you're down there, you know, the confidence isn't what it would be if, if, if you were you were even mid-table or flying high, so it's no easy. Um, football's a hard game when you, you have no confidence, and that's we, we just need one break, you know, and we're not getting that. You see in the game, you know, the ball breaks to them every time. Um, when you're down there, it, it just doesn't happen for you, and, and we need something to break.